Microorganisms, such as bacteria and fungi, play an important role in breaking down waste matter produced by other organisms and dead organisms. This process of decomposition, when oxygen is available to the microorganism, release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere by aerobic respiration. The microorganisms do this so they can grow and reproduce. Decomposition is important because it returns materials that the once living organism took from the environment so other organisms can use them. When decomposition is reduced, it can lead to the eventual formation of fossil fuels such as coal, oil and gas. Conditions that lead to this vary but essentially, low oxygen environments and pressure from above form fossil fuels. And of course, you need lots of time. These fossil fuels are known as hydrocarbons, and they are made of carbon, which has been taken from the atmosphere and stored in the ground. Fossil fuels are a great source of chemical energy, and we burn fossil fuels in a process called combustion, which releases the energy, but also the carbon dioxide, back into the atmosphere. The carbon cycle describes how carbon is incorporated into living organisms and then released again. Starting with plants, they photosynthesize and carbon is captured from the atmosphere and converted into glucose and then converted into other products that all contain carbon atoms. Organisms then consume the plants and the carbon becomes incorporated into their cells and tissues. Carbon is found in carbohydrates, fats and proteins and this is the general way carbon is incorporated into life on earth. Carbon is released back into the atmosphere by many routes. The main process being when living things respire they release carbon dioxide as a waste product. Microorganisms that break down and decompose waste material and dead organisms release carbon dioxide as they respire. Finally combustion where carbon molecules are reacted with oxygen and release carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. Some of this is natural, where combustion occurs during wildfires, for example. Human activities, such as burning fossil fuels for producing electric and powering cars, also release carbon dioxide back into the environment via combustion. In the next lesson, we will look at the nitrogen cycle.